Hi everyone and welcome to the Wine Society. I'm here with Tom Northcote from Howard Vineyards in the Adelaide Hills. How are you going Tom? Me. So well, thank you. That's yeah. good. Um, we're here today to talk about the uh, Spring Best in Society, uh, our Sauvignon Blanc. Um, tell us a little bit about our relationship and, yeah, sure. uh, and how this one got started. Absolutely. Well, we go back quite a few years, I guess. We've been um, on, on many different levels, we've been working together as, as I guess Howard Vineyard has been growing in the industry. Uh, Although a young, a young business, we have been growing grapes in Adelaide Hills for over 25 years now. And Savion Blanc is some of our original plantings. 30% of the hills are still planted with Savion Blanc. Um, and it's a variety that's just going strength to strength for us. Uh, in, a, in, a, in a more refined Savion Blanc style, getting away from those really rich flavours. Go back to a little bit more of a French style of lightness and prettiness. So. Yeah. It certainly, um, it's got a real freshness about it. Um, how, how long has this been uh, in bottle form? Yep, so this has uh, just been bottled, fresh yep. bottled, so it's going to be perfectly when, when it comes out to the uh, society members. Yep. In spring? In spring. Yep. Um, and uh, I guess uh, a little bit more about this wine, it's, it's one of my favourite blocks. It's from our estate grown vineyard, at Howard Vineyard. So we're just on 400 metres above altitude, pretty, pretty cool, pretty cold spot for the Adelaide Hills. Um, it's off a single block as well. We call it block five. It's one of my favorite blocks because it really sits in the valley in the Adelaide Hills. And it's good. <laughs> as we have a valley that sort of surrounds us, it's almost a valley within a valley and it's a really cold part of the vineyard. Can be susceptible to frost in, in the frosty years. And what that does is it has this lovely natural acidity that really carries the length of this wine and gives it some more power and presence. Right, tell us a little bit about it. The vintage 2018. How, how did it all pan out? Great vintage in 2018. Um, much warmer, which is typically the good, the better, the better. Much warmer, which is typically the better vintages for the Adelaide Hills. Our problem is to get fruit ripe, not the other way around. Um, That's certainly got the ripeness there. Mm. So we we still pick this relatively early. Um, this one only finishes up around about 12, 12 and a little bit percent alcohol. We are looking for those lovely lifted floral, almost white blossom, um, a bit of citrus and a stone fruit character with, with some of those more traditional. Um, yeah, certainly very varietal. Like mm -hmm. you get you get the Sauvignon or stamp, a little bit of grassiness there, mm -hmm. um, but certainly I get a bit of white peach and mm -hmm. yes, yeah, some of those um, some of those cit citrus blossoms. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a real characteristic of this this tiny little block that we've grown we've growing in our vineyard. And something, and the reason that I chose it is our, our what we're calling the fourth leaf, which is um, names goes back to our vineyard uh, and also our heritage. Is, yep. As a, a certain clover was found on our property in the 1850s, um, which still grows naturally in the soil. It just pumps nitrogen into the soil, and basically we're saying this is the lucky fourth clover leaf that oh, we can't excellent. find every year. So. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, so, yeah. so made just for the wine society. Yes. Uh, coming in at uh, twenty six ninety nine. Um, as, a, as a single bottle, or $16.99 uh, for subscribers to um, the Best in Society uh, packs. So that's an excellent value wine at that price. Yeah. Um, how, how, how do you view this in terms of your pricing structure? Yeah, definitely. Well, th this, we see this as a reserve style for us. Um, I guess one of the other things that we really wanted to try and do because the wine society's purchases are of a high calibre, but we didn't want it to just be that clean and fresh style. And something I really like about this wine is it's got this lovely rich texture and mouthfeel as well that a lot of Savion Blancs can't have, or if they do have, it's from sugar. Whereas this one's done from a little bit of Lee's work. So we yeah, stare yeah, it Yeah, I can, I can yeah. certainly get that texture. A little bit of phenolics there that I like. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, what, and what kind of food matches? Super versatile. Look, I think the best thing to sell blocks out in the sun, somewhere look, overlooking the harbour. But yeah, it's uh... that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do that. Not so, bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not bad with those lighter fish dishes as well. And I think because it's not because it has lovely subtle flavours. I think it matches seafood and just seafood as it is, a bit of pepper and salt, and a clean glass of Australian stuff. Along. Well, I think that that, um, that really nicely sums it up. A um, yeah. bit of pepper and salt and some fresh Aussie seafood. You've got yourself a winner there, the, um, the Howard Vineyard uh, Spring Vesting Society Sauvignon Blanc. Thanks very much for Thanks dropping very in. Much. Cheers, appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy.